Uh, I'd go with fire. Uh, I'm gonna go with fire as my favorite element of the six, just because at a campfire, a bonfire, I stare at the, I can't take my eyes off the fire. Uh, I'm gonna go with fire. Love the look of it. I understand that it's typically assumed to be destructive, but if I could control one of those elements, controlling fire would be cool because maybe you could use that to save lives or whatever. I'd rather control fire than control air. Water can douse flame, right? Earth can block water. Well, the oh, places across the street's got bomb ass lemonades. They got them sweet potato fucking soft sugar tacos, and they got plantain fries. Bomb ass plantain fries. Ah, fire. Go with fire on that one. Definitely fire. Uh, I want it to be very accurate, but I think the reality is it's somewhat accurate that I'm at peace with myself. Inaccurate? Oh, yeah, somewhat inaccurate. More exercise. Make more videos. Be more successful. So no, whatever the hell the second to last lowest thing is, I'm not at peace with myself. At peace with myself, like, I can chill out and calm down. I can certainly do that. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I'll go with, uh, no. Um, I'm comfortable with my choices and my decision-making process, uh, ever-evolving. But I'd say I'm also not happy with myself in many different ways. So if I take those two and I mash them together, I'd say that I'm somewhat incapable of number three out of four. <laughs> uh, somewhat inaccurate, if I'm understanding it correctly. I'm gonna go with head in the clouds being that I'm always distracted and I'm thinking about many things uh, like a lot. So somewhat inaccurate. I'd say I am more head in the clouds than down to earth, but down to earth, not if you're using it as a phrase to describe somebody who's fucking normal, because that is what I am. <laughs> what? Down to earth? I started thinking about your family. Like the first time I met them and realized that it's one of the few times where I was like, oh, these people are considerably more liberal than me. You know, enough for me to notice based on my past. You know, I've had some real doozies. <laughs> but, but you know what I'm saying? The last one is very inaccurate, right? So what's the one above that? Somewhat? Yeah. Somewhat inaccurate. Yeah, you could be approaching some guy at the bar outside with his face in the hood of your car. I approached the shit out of that guy last night. I don't like the way that sounds, but I'm thinking it could have been a bar fight, right? Not a sexual encounter. How could you not think of somebody else before you said you some fucking weird shit, right? And now I gotta act, okay? Now I gotta spring to action, make moves, but I'm pissed heading into the encounter. Somewhat inaccurate, is that what it is? Yeah, okay, we'll see. <laughs> Just go with the next question, you know the answer, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Fucking sit there nodding like I know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm gonna sit here crushing chips. This is an appetizer. Waiting for the fucking big game, okay? All right, next question. I feel like when it comes to forgiveness and acceptance and shit like that, that what I hear other, like phrases like be the bigger person and all that, 
that feels like I'm betraying myself. I don't want to be an asshole, disrespectful, but I want them to understand, you know, I, I put it this way, draw attention to yourself in a positive way. <laughs> Hold on. Nice to meet you. My name's Jason. He's in here. Okay. That's the soft, kinder guy, but he needs to have his shit in order on the back end for any of that shit to make sense. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> This is fucking hard. I feel like this thing's getting harder. Like the degree of difficulty is like ramping up with every uh, question. You always do this. You're always asking me like four part questions. What's the question? Um, I wouldn't say it. Yes. I, uh, yeah. Um, mo most somewhat accurate. I'd say that's somewhat accurate, but not for the reasons that a lot of people think it is. Like, I don't feel like I, I, my own sense of like validity or value is not dictated by whether or not I'm useful to, to you. That's a byproduct of like helping somebody, right? Typically the way you would help somebody, you might, you know, indirectly, find yourself helping them. So it feels good because you helped another human being. If I'm useful to somebody, what is that? They just keep me around because what? I'm tidy. I got a, I don't know, great dick. I'm the funny guy, I'm the funniest. Uh, I'm not answering that. That's ridiculous. I like to pretend anyway, okay, somewhere that if I'm useful to somebody, I'm being a good human being or I'm engaging quality. Hall of Fame, maybe, we don't know. That type of person, okay? And if I'm being that type of person, and I, so I'm useful to somebody else, then yeah, I guess I can I can draw some measure of happiness from that, but not like my overall who I am is not tied to that. So somewhat, some shit, I don't know, you tell me. Uh, 100%, very, very accurate. Couldn't be more fucking accurate. I study weaknesses. I get inside of you, okay? I watch, I play out all the various uh, outcomes based on the different decisions that I could make, and then I act, oftentimes way too late. So yeah, I observe before I act. I'd say any good bird of prey does. Hint, hint, hint. You know I'm gonna get a fucking sick, nasty spirit animal. I fucking better. Like a golden eagle or something. Where Where's the food? 150% this is accurate. I spend a lot of time observing before I act. When I used to go out in like hunting parties, okay, to the meat markets, you know, with other J-Bone and Little H-Town and Ahab, that's sort of his name. Kip Slinger. Josh. <laughs> when we were on the prowl, you know, we're just having a night. You're always watching, you know, before you do anything. Oh, that guy, that dude just took a swing at my buddy. I saw it happen. I processed. I reverted to my training. I made some shit happen, okay? I'm saying that is a thing, but I was always watching it, you know? Oh, there's a cute girl over there. I seem to like her vibe. Maybe I'll watch her a little bit later and see if she interacts with the common folk. Okay, maybe her friends or whoever she's with. If I don't like that, again, pow, I'm judging. I'm, I'm taking in that information. But once I make a decision, see, I don't even get to a decision until I take in that information. Taking in the information for me is observing. And then I make magic for other people in a positive way. It's not like I work a job where I'm working 70 hours a week and I'm saving lives, but I feel like when given the opportunity, I'm looking to make moves. So somewhat accurate, very accurate. Because what you're answering is you're, it's very accurate that I live a somewhat fast paced lifestyle, not a fast paced lifestyle, right? Read it again. What time am I leaving? What time am I getting there? Who's gonna be there? That's a whole thing. So uh, yeah, I somewhat agree with that or whatever. You know what to answer. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, right? I look over at you sometimes 
Lights on, nobody's home. Oh, gosh. What would you say about me? So very accurate, very accurate. I need time alone away from people to recharge. Like if I'm invited to do something, if I say no, it's not so I can just be alone. Not usually, sometimes, but so I'd say, say that again. I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. I step outside this place. I, I walk downstairs. I go out the front door. I don't rec I don't understand anything that I'm hearing. Okay. And that's from the English speaking people. Right? Spanish is more familiar to me than what kids under fucking 27 are saying to each other. Oh my, Dr. Huge Dick. <laughs> it's probably like somewhere between secret of the universe, what would it be like to be with a man? They're like neck and neck in the two things that I've thought the least amount about in my adult life. If I was seeking out the secret of the universe, I'd be a fucking astronaut. No, I'm not seeking answers to it because I don't want to think about it. I don't think about it because I don't give a shit about it. Because if I gave a shit about it, then I'd think about it. What are those things that I like? Those cinnamon Twizzler sticks from the Mexican joints. Churro? What's this fucking secret? How am I doing this as fast as that? Okay, that's the, the thing, right? Why do I want to think about this? I never want to think about it. I don't give a shit about the universe. I mean, I want it to be healthy and clean. Can we get some chips? Uh, I couldn't care less about the secret of the universe. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what the fucking secret. When I say I don't know what the secret is, what are they saying in the question as to what is the secret? Where it came from? Be specific. Because no, I don't know what the fucking secrets of the universe are. Like meaning what they are. State them. State the secret. The secret is, Jason, we don't know where it started, how large it is, or where it came from. Okay, so that's secret number one, two, and three. Thank you. Okay? Secrets of the UFOs, we don't just say that. Roswell, Area 51, G-Men, what's happening? All that stuff, that's a secret. We know it. We can state it. We don't know the answer. That's part of it is the secret. So when you say... Secret, secret, I got a secret. I don't fucking care about that. It's not saying fuck the universe. It's not saying that. It's saying I don't give a shit. Like it's not in my, my active day to day. I'm not taking active footsteps down the fucking street with what is the secret of this universe going through my, my fucking head. That's just not happening. So very accurate that I don't, or very inaccurate that I do. I don't know how it, the thing is stated. On to the next one. By affinity with this animal, you have the power to deal with challenges with grace. Deer knows me. You didn't order any beans and rice, huh? I, sorry, I was under the impression I thought you might. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, well, ready the chips. Get the chips ready. I'll meet you on the couch. <laughs> I should have got two burritos, dude. Just so freaking good. All right, I gotta go fucking lay down. Let's go watch a movie. <laughs>